What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're finding this content useful, please go ahead, do me a favor, and hit that subscribe button, and I really appreciate your support. All right, so moving right along, we're working in Studio One version 4.1.1 Professional today, and I wanted to take a moment to expand on a video I did last week. Now, if you didn't catch last week's video, essentially what we talk about is a preference that we can enable in Studio One that allows us to create tracks in our arrange window that are a representation of either bus channels, effects channels, or VCA channels in our console because Studio One does not behave this way by default. This is actually something that you have to set up. And if you're interested in catching more on that, you can simply head to either my YouTube channel or my website and you'll find that video on how to enable that preference. Now, I will say that there is some merit to the argument that if you have a lot of bus channels, effects channels, and VCA channels, it can actually clutter your range view quite a bit. So for example, these are the only tracks over here that are audio tracks and everything else is technically an automation track that's linked to either a bus channel, an effects channel, or a VCA channel. And you'll see we have access to the inspector when that is open. But if you were just trying to do some basic audio editing and you had a lot of subgroups and effects channels, this might get a little clustered for you. So there is a way that we can combat that, and that is by using folders. Now, first and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and just open up my console. I want you to pay attention to what happens in my console when we start making some changes here. So for example, I'm gonna select the first channel over here, and then let's select the last one, and I will right click, and let's go ahead and pack this folder. Okay, I'm going to name this effects, uh, plus we'll say subgroups, uh, plus VCAs, all right? Let's go ahead and give this a color just to make it unique. So now you can see we have that simplified view in our range window where we're essentially just looking at audio tracks for the most part. But if we head down here and I was to open up this folder, you'll see that we have all of our bus channels, our effects channels, and our VCAs. Now you'll also see that as I open and close this folder, that these tracks are disappearing and reappearing in my console. Now this may or may not be what you're interested in. And this is actually a personal preference. It depends on how you like to work. So for example, if your goal is simply to minimize the clutter in your arrange view, in terms of if we are not viewing the console over here and we're just looking at our range view and I wanted to be able to simplify this, but in the same token, if I needed to, to be able to access any one of these channels and open up our inspector, we have access to our inserts, our fader and our sends, then maybe this is exactly what you want. But if, for example, you're working with, for example, maybe a control surface like a fader port eight or a fader port 16, then it might be nice to actually see all of the channels that you're working with in your whole entire console. If that's the case, we can head over to our console options here and we can deselect this option to link show hide of track list and console. Now, before I go ahead and do that, actually let's deselect that and you'll notice now that regardless of the fact that this folder is closed, I have access to all of these channels in my console. It doesn't matter. But let's go back to this preference just for another second and let's talk about it for a quick moment. Link show slash hide of track list and console. One thing to note, if you're not aware, is that we have this section over here. If we hover, this is our channel list and this has to do with the console. And in the top left, this is our track list. And they're kind of intertwined and these different preferences, they play off of each other and they affect each other in different ways. But essentially what this preference is basically doing is saying that, hey, I want to either link the two of these together in a logical way so that if I'm not seeing one, that it disappears in the other. Or if you don't want to work that way, you can essentially break that link. And this preference under here, link expand and collapse of folder tracks with show hide, that's kind of a dynamic preference that has to do with this top one. So for example, you can see that I can only deselect it over here when this is enabled. And if I've disabled this, we can't enable or disable this preference whatsoever. Now, I will say that 99% of the time, this is the way that I work with my console options. I prefer to have everything in a non-confusing way. 
And for me, it's pretty easy to understand that uh, I can open up this folder and that everything is linked. Now, if there ever is a case that I don't want to have these linked, but I do want to clear up my arrange window, I will simply come in here and I will disable this preference, meaning that I can close this folder, but I still have access to all these channels if I wanted to make some static moves or adjustment. And keep in mind, if I don't have my console open, and we're working this way that we can always access the fader, the inserts, and the sends from the inspector, which we can open by either clicking the I over here or the F4. So anyways, kind of just an extension on last week's video, just uh, you know, a preference that I find useful. And if I end up having a session or rather a song that has tons of subgroups, tons of VCA channels, tons of effects channels, this is what I will do a lot of the times is I will just stick them in a folder and I might pack them in separate folders for subgroups, VCAs and effects, or I might stick them all in one folder and then I will update my console options for my link show hide as needed, depending on what I want to do. Anyways, that's all the time I have available today. As always, I hope you got something from this video. Any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. If you found this content useful, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. And we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.